In Seoul, Shin Rumi owns and operates a popular fried chicken business. She gets embroiled in a property dispute with Tae San, the owner of a construction company controlled by a mob. The corporation intends to build a big shopping area for Chinese tourists in place of her tiny business. One evening, as hired goons forcibly remove Rumi from her shop, a violent altercation results in the death of her mother. A falling meteor is shown in between scenes of Rumi's mother's death later on in the hospital. So Kian, a pedophile security guard who seems to be happy-go-lucky, acquires telekinetic abilities after consuming water from a meteor-hit mountain spring. Rumi gets in touch with her father, Sukhian, who she is estranged from, to let him know about the passing and funeral of his ex-wife. He sees Rumi and President Min, who oversees Taesan's operations, fighting there. When Min tries to make up for Rumi's loss, she angrily rejects him and orders him to leave the property. Kim Younghyun, a young lawyer defending Rumi's and the other local business owners' legal rights, tells Suk Hyun more about the turf battle. Rumi is still saddened by Suk Hyun's childhood abandonment of her, despite his attempts to mend their relationship. Rumi calls Suk Hyun a careless dad as he tries to show off his newfound skill later on. The shop owners, who have been denied compensation for the loss of their enterprises, have joined forces with Rumi in a joint legal struggle against Taesan. As they fortify themselves inside a retail arcade, Taesan's goons show up and start beating them. When Sukhian shows up, he utilizes his abilities to repel the attackers, shocking and surprising everyone in his path. To the surprise and amusement of the business owners, Min is not believed by the on-duty police officer when he tries to report the occurrences. Suk Hyun protects the neighborhood businesses by erecting a sizable wall around the market area using his further telekinetic abilities. In the meantime, Min meets with Taesan's owner, Director Hong, who is aware of Suk Hyun's abilities. She gives Min instructions to form a new firm under a different name and draft a new contract in order to formally destroy the neighborhood businesses. She creates a distraction by having Suk Hyun detained on fake charges and uses her connections to get the police to support her. Following Suk Hyun's removal from the scene, Min and his goons give the riot police the order to demolish the barricade and take the store owners into custody. With the cops pursuing, Rumi and the store owners escape to a nearby building. Suk Hyun manages to escape his detention cell after viewing the circumstances on television and regains the ability to fly. He gets at the location right as the SWAT squad arrives via a mobile building supported by a crane and the shop owners climb the rooftop of another building. After Rumi is apprehended, they drag her inside the hanging structure. Rumi unfortunately tumbles out when the crane breaks down. After saving her, Sukhian abandons her to the care of the runaway store owners. He approaches Min, who is present with the riot police, knocks him out with a punch, and then surrenders to the authorities. After serving four years in prison, Young Hyun picks up Suk Hyun upon his release and declares his engagement to Rumi. When they visit the site of Rumi's restaurant, which is currently an empty plot, Young Hyun informs them that Taesan's project was eventually unsuccessful and that the building has been delayed. When they get to Rumi's new restaurant, Suk Hyun meets up with his daughter and the proprietors of the nearby shops again. To everyone's surprise, he then uses his abilities to serve drinks to the patrons. Then it is revealed that Rumi has decided to call her new eatery, Superpower Chicken.